Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten and this is Small Bobbins. So it's been a while since I did a makes video, but I gave myself some sewing time last month and I managed to finish three garments last month, so I wanted to show those off. So I'm already wearing the first one. This is a penny top by Sew Over It, um, which is a dress pattern, but I used the hack that they suggest on their website to make it a tie front top. Um, I made it out of this, I, I mean, I have no idea what it is actually. It's kind of like a crepe, uh, I don't know, whatever. It's, I got it from a, a remnant pile at a fabric, I don't know what you would call it exactly. It's like this traveling fabric convention and they have it all over Belgium and the Netherlands. Um, it's called Stoffen Spectacle. And essentially just a lot of fabric sellers will gather in a convention center and put up their booths and sell fabric. I don't even know if there's anything similar in the US. It's not something that I, I had ever heard of before, but it is where I managed to get a lot of my fabric and kind of build my stash in Belgium. And this is just one that I picked up off of a remnant table. I think it was about like a meter and a half and it was six euros, so it's a pretty good deal. And I do like how it turned out for the penny. Um, the only thing is I'm very tall and so the penny hits in a very high spot for me even though I did add a lot of length to it. Um, it's pretty much like just above my waist. Like I do have to wear something pretty high waisted otherwise I think it will just look kind of weird to wear out in public. And I am wearing the Noel crop top bralette underneath of it so luckily that kind of gives me some coverage underneath of it. I mean it's practically like a shirt itself. I would say the pattern came together pretty well. The only thing that really confused me is the ties. Uh, and I don't know if this is because my fabric stretched out or I just didn't really understand the instructions that well. But you can see like the interfacing and the stitching, like they just didn't come together in a very clean way. Uh, I'm even like looking at it now, like is there a way I can still like redeem it and fix it somehow? It's not really that noticeable, like if I'm just kind of out and about, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but um, yeah, oh well. And I did stray from the instructions, I got a little lazy at the end, I didn't even like go to look and see what buttons I had, I just went ahead and put poppers on them. I got inspired from the ladies over at Pattern Pals, it seemed like whenever <laughs> they have buttons they just decide to use snaps instead, snaps, poppers, whatever you want to call them. and. I thought about that right as I was getting ready to do buttonholes and I was like, I would rather just use snaps. So I went ahead and put some red snaps on there and I think it looks great. So my next make is the Justine skirt. It's a free pattern by Ready to Sew, which is a French pattern company, but I mean the instructions come in English as well. I made mine out of this wool remnant. Uh, yeah, both remnants. And I got this at a Belgian fabric shop, it's called The Fabric Sales, and essentially they buy up a ton of designer fabric, then they open their studio for like one or two weekends a month and you can go and buy them. It's very nice quality, it's very expensive, and it's always very crowded when I go, so I try to avoid going there too often uh, because I know I'll spend a lot of money and I know I will be annoyed by all of the people there. So this was just a remnant, like a, they call it a coupon in Belgium, I think it's a French word, and it's just kind of like a pre-cut piece of fabric. I think it was about like 135 centimeters, but it's uh, like a really nice wool, not like a heavy wool, it's more like a, like think of for like a suit, like pants or something like that. I think I probably paid like 30 euro or something, 35 euro maybe for this remnant, which is not very big. And I think the fact that it's a midi skirt and that it's made out of the wool is really perfect for winter. You know, now we're in fall, it's coming up to winter. So it's long, it's wool, it will help keep me warm. I can wear it with, you know, thick black tights and boots and all that stuff. And I'm really excited to get a lot of wear out of it. The only issue I had with it was that I ran out of buttons um, and so I made an extra buttonhole than I actually had buttons, um, which is fine. I mean, as far as like how many buttons I need to keep the skirt decent, like I'm totally fine for that. It's just weird that I have an extra buttonhole for that. And my third and final make from September is this bodysuit. So this is the trapeze bodysuit by the 
designer formerly known as Comatia Patterns. Um, now it goes by Studio Calico. So it's a Canadian company. I have a ton of their patterns. I make them. I used to do pattern testing. I really love them. I think there's some really cool modern designs. And the very cool thing about this one is that it has an open back. I'm a big fan of bodysuits, especially in the winter. It's nice to just kind of like tuck everything away. Um, I can wear it with jeans or skirts. Um, I can wear it with tights, you know. It's just a really kind of versatile bodysuit and it's great to wear underneath other clothes. It's a great way to layer up, especially now that Belgium's getting very chilly. Uh, I find myself really appreciating bodysuits. Not that a bodysuit with an open back is going to keep me very warm in the winter. Um, the thing that I really like about this bodysuit, besides the very dramatic open back, is that it has a built-in bra almost. Like there's a layer of power net with elastic to kind of like allow you to go braless potentially. It's also a great way to show off some fancy bra straps. I mean, it is nice, the material that I have, again, it's another one that I picked up at Stuff and Spectacle, so I don't even know the name of the vendor, some Dutch or Belgian vendor. Uh, it's a very opaque, thick jersey, and so it, I do feel comfortable enough going braless with it, but I think it could also be a really great outfit to wear with like, uh, like a Sierra bralette or one of those with like a really interesting back because um, you know you can really let it shine. Construction on all of these was pretty straightforward. I don't think I ran into any issues with the trapeze. Um, I did notice she's not actually selling it anymore so I think it's a design that she retired. I'm not sure that I'd actually make another one. I have a lot of bodysuit patterns. I think if I were to really think about it I'd go for one that you know is long sleeve and turtleneck and covers my back so then it can keep me warm or if I want something that maybe shows a bit more skin then I'd go for something like the Cannes bodysuit which is like kind of an off the shoulder uh, like v-neck short sleeve one that she has. It's another one that I really love. I've made a couple of them. But I do really like how this turned out and I think it matches really well with the Justine skirt that I made and so it's nice to kind of have a new outfit that's perfect for winter. And so those were all of my makes for September. Um, I think everybody who has a small business, especially in sewing, realizes that you don't actually have time to do sewing anymore once you start the business. Uh, so I am happy that I made some time to be able to make a few garments. I don't have any definite plans for October sewing. I am working on creating a couple of my own patterns. So I'm doing a lot of sample making, uh, always making lingerie of course, not that I'll really show off most of that on YouTube. As far as garments, I've had it in my head to make more jeans and to also make a blazer or two and maybe a new denim jacket and a trench coat but I mean these are all just like really fanciful ambitious plans that I will probably not get around to so we'll see there's a lot of sewing that I'm doing this month for tutorial filming and things that I'm putting on my blog I have a couple collaborations coming up with other sewists on Instagram that you'll hear more about soon Yep, so that's it. I just wanted to show off a couple garments that I made last month and keep you up to date with my sewing life. If you enjoyed watching this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget if you're interested in making lingerie and you need some beautiful supplies, you can check out my store at smallbobbins.com. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!